Hey, how's it going? Welcome back to another episode of the Duo Group Iron Man. Last video, I did a bunch of blackjacking and we both became millionaires because of it. We got up to 76 thieving, then I decided to take a break. We did a bunch of questing, we got some prerequisites done for RFD. And today, what I want to finally start doing is actually start working towards Barrow's Gloves by doing those RFD subquests. Um, but right now, as I usually say, I have to edit the previous video so we are going to go fly fishing in Shiloh Village and continue banking the trout and salmon. Uh, I want to get to 58 fishing before we head over to Barb and we have 54 right now. I don't know why I was going to the ferry ring by the way, this is the actual way I get to Shiloh. I take that really cheap boat over to the cart over here. I started as many as the subquests as I could, I guess this is what we have the requirements for. So let's start knocking them out, I'm excited to finally uh, get some upgrades for the accounts. For this amazing meal for this guy, we have have to give him a uh, charcoal and fishing bait and orange and some random dye and some spices and I I've seen this before because you know I've, I've done this quest of course multiple times and the food we are gonna make this is probably my favorite food in the game it just oh, it always makes me so hungry it's so good it's a pretty tedious and expensive process to create this meal but it's gonna be worth it so you gotta make some soggy bread here and there we have it the slop of compromise yum I like how it has this uh, message in the chat box your reward is spicy maggots Thank you, game. Okay, here's gonna be the first subquest of RFD that we will have completed. I think we just use it on him. And there we go, we have freed the goblin generals. Let's move on to the next one. Oh, farming level, the crafting level. I was trying to get the ice gloves and I am just now learning, apparently you need 50 mining. So I guess we're just gonna kill the ice fiend or whatever instead for uh, cooling down the rock cake. We use the rock cake on the dwarf and there is the mountain dwarf section complete. 1k cooking and 1k slayer XP. I'm kind of glad about the slayer XP because we still need level 18 slayer to do animal magnetism, which I'm pretty sure we can just get 18 through questing and we won't actually have to train slayer. On to the next one. We'll use the Cake of Guidance on the Lumbridge Guide and another section is complete. Cooking XP, Magic XP, there's a cooking level, there's a magic level. Uh, one more magic level till super heat, which I'm kind of looking forward to. Okay, let's see who's next. Okay, game, please, I don't ask for much. Yes, it didn't burn it. Okay, wait, game, just one more favor. Please don't burn this one. <laughs> Oh, looks good. Yeah, yeah, nice, okay. Ah, lovely jubbly. Wait, isn't there a thing if you like release this? You could like make a frog run around. Release balloon toad. Release the frogs. Okay, let's go finish this uh, sub quest. So we're, we gotta make sure to use this, not eat it on scratch. And that is another section complete. Look at all those skills we just got XP in. Any level ups, range level. Nice. We're going to take a little break from the questing now and we're going to head into the wildy. Oh, I thought we'd get PK right away. We're going to go to the Mage Arena shop and buy a bunch of runes. Oh yeah, I don't have a slash weapon. I wanted to buy a bunch of runes from the shop here. Um, I'm not sure, maybe it'd be better to buy them from a Lee Morris saying. I want to buy a bunch of natures and I guess law runes too and cosmetics. Oh, that's cheap. Yeah, I just immediately see people hop to every world I go to, so maybe it would be better to buy from Ali. Although then again, maybe they're buying from him too. Let's see, moment of truth. Oh, okay. The only annoying thing is that there is another section or two more sections of the Rogue Trader minigame that we have to do. Otherwise, there's an extra dialogue option. So I don't know how many runes I'm going to buy. I guess I'll just do it till I get bored. But every time you want to buy runes from this guy, you could see there's like this really long dialogue thing you have to go through including a couple extra messages too because we haven't finished it. We got a decent amount of runes for now. We spent like 400k. Now I want to go do the Varak Easy Diary. We are currently at the poop altar training everyone's favorite skill. No level? Wow, scammed. This is why people say RC is the slowest skill in the game. I know this is a really random jump, but we just got the fighter tour, so thanks to Leech BA. Uh, they said they could just fit me in right now. And this was actually so fast. It took like an hour to get this done, and I was also able to edit in the meantime. So I just want to give a big thank you to Leech BA because by helping me save all this time, it allows me to get the content out that much faster for you guys. And if any of you need to leech anything from BA yourself, then I'll leave the link to their Discord and their CC in the description. <laughs> I can't even equip it. Uh, 39 defense and we need 40. 
Feels so nice to have this done though, having the torso. Thanks again, guys. Last thing we have to do is get 50 kudos. So I think if we just spam through the dialogue with this guy, we'll tell him about all the adventures that we've had and we'll just watch the kudos slowly go up. Okay, there we go. We got 53 kudos. We got an XP lamp. Let's put that into herb lore. Gonna get 1000 XP and then we'll talk to the curator over here. We got an herb lore level and I think that's it, right? Yeah, cool. Okay, we can claim the reward. I'll put the rewards for the diary up on screen. Uh, there's nothing too notable, but we do get the Varrock Armor 1, which gives us a 10% chance of mining double ores up to gold when we're mining. And that could come in handy for what we're going to be doing next. And of course, we get the XP Lamp, which is also going to Herb Lore, and another level up to 35. I kind of almost feel like I should be putting these into prayer, actually, because I do want to get 43 prayer. I don't feel like killing dragons. Hopefully that wasn't a mistake. We need to get 43 magic first, which we're really close to, so I'll just, I guess, kill some guards or something. There we go, 43 magic. We can now cast super heat. Because we're a super mega rich group Iron Man right now, we can afford to buy the Addy pickaxe and the Rune pickaxe because we are about to do some mining, so. Uh, we're going to trade Nerm off wherever he is. Uh, the Addy pick is going to be 3k and then the Rune pick is 32k. Very worthwhile investments though. And then from here we're going to use the Arty Cloak Teleport, which of course gives us unlimited teleports to the Arty Monastery. We're going to come over here to the Iron Rocks. I guess we should probably try to find our own world. Oh, it might be kind of hard actually now that I think about it. There might be a lot of people doing this, a lot of uh, new group Iron Men. Okay, we found the world. What we're going to do is just mine the iron ore here. Oh, you can see the first try we got the double ore and we get the double XP as well. And once we have a full inventory, we're going to slowly walk back to the bank and arty while superheating all these iron ores. Normally using a furnace, you only have a 50% chance of whether or not you actually smelt the iron ore into a bar versus it just disappearing. But with superheat, it is guaranteed to always make it into a bar. So we're going to get magic XP, smithing XP, and then maybe even eventually fletching XP if we decide to smith these into dart tips. And then once we finish up with all these, we can just deposit them all into the bank. We'll put the rune pick in there because we don't need that until we get 41. And then we can just teleport straight back to the monastery and repeat this process. So we've got uh, 35 mining right now, 36 smithing, 43 magic. And we'll just start getting the skills up because we'll need all these for quests. And eventually 55 magic for high elk is going to be nice. And if you're actually doing this properly, if you're walking the whole time, by the time you get to the bank, you should have already smelted or uh, superheated all the iron ore into bars. So there shouldn't be any downtime while you're standing here just superheating. No way, guys. Do you see that? Okay, sorry. There's 45 magic, which is kind of the reason why I wanted to do this so we can use the teleport to Camelot because I am so sick of constantly having to walk there or charter ship there. It's just like kind of inconvenient. I guess there's a fairy ring, but it's still kind of a bit of a run too. So I'm glad we can finally cast that spell. I'm having fun doing this though. So we'll, we'll stay here a little bit longer, keep on uh, making these iron bars and gangs and levels. There's another grave digger random done and we got two more pieces of the zombie outfit. Oh, we just finished the zombie outfit, hey. And there's 41 mining. We can now use the rune pick ag. So we're not gonna stay here too much longer, but I do wanna try out the rune pick while we're here just to, just to enjoy the power of it, just to enjoy the fruits of my labor of all the, the blackjacking I did before. I guess I probably won't need the Addy pick anymore, so I can just go ahead and toss that into the group storage. Well, I'm a dirty liar, apparently. I guess that's why they call me mud. Don't even ask why they used to call me wet dirt, but um, there's 50 magic. And uh, I know I said I didn't want to stay here, but I am having a lot of fun. And the more I think about it, the more I realize that I'm going to need to unlock High Alk one way or another. And I really like this way. So what we're going to do after this trip is go back to Alcarid and then hop a bunch of worlds, buy nature runes. And I'll probably end up buying cosmics as well. And we'll buy enough nature runes to get us to 55 magic by doing this method. So... We're gonna head over there and I'll let you know how much money I spend. All right, after playing shot man mode for a bit and hopping a bunch of worlds and getting a little bit frustrated that a lot of the worlds are uh, very much sold out, we've spent about 300K and bought a little bit more than enough nature runes to get us to 55 magic. You know, originally I was gonna make like the goal or the theme of this video to be based around like working towards Barrow's gloves. But now that we're actually like really committing to doing this grind, I think we'll make this like the theme of the video. Cause this is a really cool method. I don't know if I've done it before. Or maybe I might have done it on my UIM a really long time ago, but I feel like, oh wait, there's a shooting star here. <laughs> we were the first person to find it. Uh, can we, we can mine it. Oh, cool. I wasn't trying to find that. Can we pretend that airplanes, the night sky are like shooting stars? I could really use a wish for, you know that, uh, that Mordecai meme? Uh, it's been stuck in my head for a while now. 
I, I, like that's literally me and Spook. We're definitely that first one though. I did this activity on the UIM as well to unlock everything. And it still has that like same feeling of camaraderie. It, like it really is a distraction and diversion. Like people just kind of come by here and they all start talking to each other. And I don't know, it kind of like forms a little sense of community almost. Dude, the XP from mining that was so good. We got like one and a half levels. Um, just from mining that star. And we got almost 500 stardust too. Ooh, Spook just said she wants to make some rings of dueling, but she asked for some cosmic runes, which I have now because I just bought a bunch from uh, Ali Morrison. So, well, uh, I don't know why I exit out of the screen. I'm still new to learning how this works. Uh, we're going to put the cosmic runes in the group storage, and then these will be transformed into rings of dueling very shortly. Oh, it's really annoying how you have to like save it. I think they said they were going to work on changing that or something so that you can like escape close the window or it'll be faster or something. Time to check the spoils. Let's grab out three rings of dueling. Oh, she said she had five gold bars, so she gave me the bigger half of them. Oh, that's so sweet. Oh, I'm pretty sure we both have a bunch of gold ore actually from Dew and Toad. Um, yeah, I got all that, so I could just smelt that when that Oh no, I should we should actually wait till we get the goldsmith gauntlets and then super heat them. But yeah, we got some more transportation unlocked. To get out of going to jail, all you have to do is go into a bank. It's like GTA, you just go into a house and suddenly everything's fine. Just one more super heat and there it is. Level 55 magic. We can now cast high elk. I'll put the XP up on screen. Um, for all the XP that we gain. Keep in mind the XP per hour is not going to be accurate, but the XP gained is going to be pretty accurate. So the total time that I actually spent doing this method though was about five hours. And then the levels that we started with, uh, we had 35 mining, 36 smithing, and 43 magic. So that's quite a lot of total levels right there. And just by looking at the chat box since I've last hopped worlds, I mean, it, it's just so satisfying seeing not only all these levels, but all the levels of various skills. There's just something so satisfying about like a macro efficient training method like this. Maybe it's just because it reminds me of UIM. Maybe that's it. But yeah, it is that time of the day to AFK again. Now it looks like we are going to be going back to fishing. We have 56 fishing right now, so we will be getting 58 tonight. So this will be our last time fly fishing. Hey, there we go. 58 fishing. We are done fly fishing. So now we can grab our chips and dip on over to the Birthorpe Games Room. We're gonna head over to the Rogue's Den and start cooking all the fish. We'll check the bank once we get there and see how much trout and how much salmon we have. Oh man, this place brings back memories. This is where I did 200 mil cooking on my main. This was before like Dragon Slayer 2 came out, so there was no Myths Guild. This is where a lot of people went for cooking. Um, but anyways, let's take a look at the bank. Here we have almost 2,000 trout and almost 1,500 salmon. I guess we could put this in the bank now. Uh, our current cooking level is 45 and probably just gonna end up cooking all these. I think it's like 1,200 to 1,300 fish you can cook per hour if you're like AFKing. So uh, starting from 45 cooking, let's see where we get to. We are eventually gonna need 70 cooking for RFD. So that's kind of the main goal for cooking. Like this guy doing his one tick crown ones with a freaking nerd. Level 52 cooking is actually kind of a milestone because at this level, sorry, uh, we can cook botanical pies, which is the plus four herb lore boosting pie. And we have uh, 17 Golovanova fruit tops in the bank right now, so we could boost to make prayer pots if I really wanted to at level 38 because um, we get the plus four boost. I feel like it's kind of wasting them using them when your herb lore is in the 30s because it's like so fast to level up, but just knowing that we can if we want to, we could make prayer pots right now. Well, spent uh, just over two and a half hours cooking tonight. Look at the freaking chat box, dude. I want to keep all the levels in here without logging out. Look at that. We went from 45 to 61, nearly 62 cooking. And then we could take a look at all the fish we have in the bank right now. Um, we have all the trout, all the salmon. I mean, I know it's not going to be useful like once we get to the mid game, but right now for like blackjacking or maybe early slayer or something or questing, this food's going to come in super handy, especially for blackjacking because I probably will go back to blackjacking at some point for a little bit more GP and XP too. Um, but it is the end of day eight right now. Uh, we're almost 1k total. Here's the time played. We're up to 128 quest points. going to log off now and refresh the high scores and see where we're at. We did make it back into top 100 again. In fact, after logging off, 
You're now rank 78. I've noticed every night we're losing less and less ranks, but at the same time, the ranks are more difficult to get up. I mean, we're not really focusing too much on ranks, but it just kind of happens, you know, when you play enough hours. Okay, see you in the morning. I was going to end the video there, but some people seem to get sad when I don't give a proper outro or when I don't give the proper intro either. So it is the morning, but for you, it is the end of the video. So thank you very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed and I hope that you have a great day and I will see you again tomorrow.